This segment of Pack 5 is brought to you by Carbonite. For someone who is new or a beginner in the environment of Ubuntu, it can be pretty daunting. But for someone who is an advanced user, you probably found the switch to Unity in the newer version of Ubuntu to be a bit pointless and trivial. I, for one, being new to the Ubuntu world, find Unity to be, eh, it's okay, but I really wanted to check out GNOME and KDE as well so that I can really make a choice on which one that I like the most. Unity can be pretty nice if you're a brand new user. You get a group of icons on the side where most of your programs and the access points for the OS are found. It's really easy to find everything, but a couple of times I did have to like hover over the icons to figure out what it stood for. GNOME is a cleaner environment. It has links to all the programs and the applications in the upper left-hand corner instead, and, and then you could add Docky if you wanted to, like I did, to give it a nice little extra feel of animation. So, to switch from Unity to GNOME or back vice versa, first thing you need to do is go up to that power button up in the corner and click on System Settings. And then you want to scroll down to Login Screen. You'll need to unlock it with your login password. Let's see if I can remember mine. I always forget when we're recording. And you want to choose Ubuntu Classic, that's GNOME. So I hit that, choose close, close out of that. And I'm going to go ahead and log out. And log back in. Now it should be switched over to GNOME when I log back in. Cool, so I'm logged back in. That whole icon thing over on the uh, left-hand side has disappeared and all my applications and my OS, uh, all my system files and everything can be found at the top instead. So this is GNOME. It's nice and clean and very pretty. I did want to go ahead and add the docky interface to my GNOME desktop environment. So to do so, you've got to click on Applications up at the top, go to Ubuntu, Ubuntu Software Center, And then just type in Docky, and it should come up where you can click Install, which will be right here. And you might want to restart your machine just to let all the changes go into effect, and it'll be down there ready for all your changes and settings. So how easy is that? You aren't stuck with Unity if you don't want it. You can always switch back if you get tired of GNOME. I do want to check out KDE in the future, but right now I'm going to play with GNOME for about a week or so and see if I like this one more than Unity. Coming up soon, we'll be answering your viewer questions, but first, let's take a quick break and then check in with Darren for the nibble. Computer disasters eventually happen to everyone, but if you get Carbonite Online Backup before your disaster, then no need to worry, because your files will be backed up automatically and safely off-site. It's really easy to get them backed up, too. You can access them from anywhere, from any computer, your smartphone, or the free iPad app. Carbonite Unlimited Backup for your PC or Mac is just 59 bucks a year, and if you sign up with the offer code HAK5 when you start your free 15-day trial, you'll get two months free if you decide to buy. Find all the details at Carbonite.com and be sure to use the offer code HAK5 to get two months free with your purchase. This nibble was sent in by Rodrigo. He writes that instead of just using top, you can actually go ahead and use, for example, top and then pipe it over to grep, let's say docky since I'm on Shannon's system here, and then we can actually see just docky. We don't have to See all of that stuff that we may have not needed to know. Anyway, send your four bits in at hack5.org slash nibble. We totally love getting your little doo -doo 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 -doos. Whatever that was. I don't even know. I'm making stuff up now. Woo!